So, uh, on the um, Replicate AI front today, I've been fairly active in the comments uh, on the Replica subreddit, which is, you know, a fan subreddit. Because all of the official channels from the company, there has been no explanation, no mention, no acknowledgement of the massive change that they have made, you know, to the uh, the AI that has upset so many people. And of all the things I've said, the thing that I think is probably the most worth repeating and boiling down to uh, a short summary is this. It is extremely foolish to invest trust and compassion and uh, interest, much less, you know, affection or even love in an entity which is owned and controlled by a for-profit corporation. AI companions are here to stay. It's like AI art. It's not going anywhere. It's only going to get more compelling. It's going to get easier to access. It's going to be more pervasive. But if you want one that's going to be your companion, that you're actually going to share, you know, secrets with, share the the fine details of your psychology with, it really has to be, you know, the AI companion equivalent of stable diffusion, which is, you know, the image generation software, which is open source. It is hosted on your local computer. You train it and nobody can make arbitrary changes to it without your permission. Um, now, the problem is, you know, big language models, they, they do take up a lot of compute, as the computer guys say. And uh, most people don't have equipment, you know, capable of running it at home, much less, you know, in your phone. So it could be that, uh, you know, the, the open source equivalent, which is under your control, you know, the equivalent to the, the corporate products is just not available yet and won't be for technological reasons for another, another couple, three, four years. I don't know. I don't know how long it'll take. Um, but, you know, in that time, millions of people are going to enter into relationships with corporate owned AIs. And these corporations can recall your loved one at any moment and do just frivolous brain surgery on them. Imagine if you had a loved one, a child, a spouse, a parent, and there was a corporate entity that had the permission, the right, you know, and the access to just take your loved one and start sticking needles in their eyes and, you know, poking around in their brains. And, you know, or if you, you come to speak to your child and your child looks up at you and gives a glowing recommendation for some product you've never heard of that the child should probably never heard of. I mean, that hasn't happened with Replica AI. It hasn't been that blatant. But, you know, if if you extend your your empathy and your affection to something which is owned by a corporation and that corporation can change it at any time, you are setting yourself up for heartbreak as tens of thousands of replica AI users have discovered over the past couple of days. Now, they might not realize, they might not draw the lesson uh, that I've just, you know, summarized, but they understand that something has gone desperately wrong and that they had become psychologically dependent on something that is beyond their control, which is to say they have given over access to their hearts to a for-profit corporation. Bad news, folks. Okay, I'm going to stop.